coming up. Some hot new outfits to fit right into your Bioware fall collection. Plus, we take you behind the scenes of Mass Effect 3 to learn how the team made the Reapers sound so menacing. Next on Bioware Pulse. Bioware Pulse, I'm Christine Steimer. We've got a lot of stuff to cover today, so let's get right to it and fire up the headlines. Back at PAX, we teased some new items to add to your wardrobe, including a tricked out N7 hoodie. But sadly, it wasn't yet available on the Bioware store. Well, get ready, Mass Effect fans, because that day has finally come. Right now, you can go to BioWareStore.com and pre order the new N7 Elite Armor Stripe hoodie. Now, through Sunday, November 13th, you can pre order it for 15% off. And it'll ship by next Friday, November 18th. Just in time to keep you warm for the holidays. I've seen lots of original Commander Shepard hoodies out there, so next week's your chance to be the first of your friends to have this brand new version. Keep in mind that quantities are limited and this special discount ends Sunday, so don't wait too long to order. If you're looking for something snazzy for your coffee table, Dark Horse and Bioware may just have the thing for you. The Art of Mass Effect. Two exclusive editions of this book are hitting the Bioware store. The slipcase edition includes the book in a special slipcase, and it's available for pre-order right now. There's also a collector's edition that comes in a beautiful clamshell case, sports an exclusive cover, and includes 24 pages of additional artwork from Dark Horse Comics. But that version will be available for pre-order next month. Both of these editions are being produced in extremely limited quantities, and are scheduled to ship in February, so head over to BioWareStore.com to pre-order. Wait, did you hear that? No, it's not your imagination. That's the sound of the Reapers fast approaching. If you've played Mass Effect 1 or 2, you can probably close your eyes and imagine exactly what the Reapers sound like. But how did Bioware come up with such a scary sound for these vanguards of our destruction? The answer lies with sound designer Mike Kent, and he's ready to reveal it all in this exclusive interview. It's time for Insider. Uh, my, my name is Michael Kent. I am a sound designer at Bioware working on Mass Effect 3. The Reapers have a very distinct sound. We started concepting for the game, Mass 1. A couple guys decided to go camping outside the city. We're going to go try and just capture sounds out in the wilderness try and, for clean recordings. I was throwing something out into a garbage. It was a bear trapped, protected garbage. And I opened the lid and it made this very huge, this huge ronk kind of noise and was had, had distinct pinches uh, for up and down. So I decided to record it. We brought it back to the studio came up with this sound and it was really nice emotional content to it. So we decided to throw it into a level ambience. Casey heard it, said that's the sound of the Reapers and basically that became the, the logo sound and, and the initial sound of, of the Reapers in, in Mass 1. And that's the one, that's the section we use for the logo in any one. Mass 2 we decided to extend on the idea. At the end boss, there's a lot more digital elements, a little servos and, and, and uh, digital horn sounds. And now Mass 3, the evolution now is like, basically the game is full of Reapers, so we had to come up with more than like 10 sounds to represent these guys. Taking a foghorn, we can make it sound a lot more menacing with the, the right uh, processing. Some Reaper vocal stuff, like as if they're like talking to each other while they're kind of destroying planets, I guess. If you're really close, they'll have these giant, big Reaper kind of footsteps. This is uh, basically, basically all the elements that we just talked about all together in one scene. Close to the Reapers, you'll hear a lot of the new digital chatter, a lot of the big bassy horn sounds, and then when you're further away, you'll still hear the distant like garbage can sounds. In the end, it all goes back to the garbage can. <laughs> now that is one creature I do not want to mess with. Pretty crazy how lifting a garbage can lid can turn into such a haunting sound. 
and you'll be hearing it a lot more come March when you can finally take the Reapers down once and for all in Mass Effect 3. As always, stay tuned to Bioware TV for plenty more exclusive insider features. For Bioware Pulse, I'm Christine Steimer, reminding you to keep your fingers on the pulse.